Hello, everyone. Uh, today is uh, let's uh, continue to do the next uh, diagram. Uh, so, uh, in the screen, uh, you can see uh, on the uh, the repository, uh, as mentioned the last time, is uh, we have uh, put this uh, different phase uh, grouped by uh, into the different page. So, in the front end, you can see uh, from the home page, and if you click uh, phase A. Uh, then you can see uh, what we have uh, the already modeled, uh, the figure three, four, five uh, is there. Uh, and uh, the number four is we have uh, two uh, versions. Uh, you can refer to this uh, new version for uh, more reference. Uh, and uh, today, uh, let's uh, working on this uh, number six, the goal requirement uh, view. Uh, so starting from this uh, uh, the number four, uh, you. Uh, Let's uh, recap a little bit. It's uh, uh, for the uh, the uh, the arc insurance. It's uh, starting is we have the strategic driver, and then we have uh, the certain outcome, and the outcome is uh, influenced by goal, uh, and the goal can be uh, certain the hierarchy, uh, have uh, aggregated by different uh, detailed goal, uh, and then the goal can be influenced by the uh, outcome uh, again. And the different layer is so we can have assessment. Uh, so uh, for today, uh, when we come to uh, the number six, uh, what's mean the goal requirement uh, is kind of uh, involved uh, or uh, one more notation where we haven't used before. It's here uh, called this uh, principle. Uh, so uh, from the goal, we uh, aggregate uh, to the detailed goal. Uh, and then this uh, for the detail uh, for the detail is uh, we are using the principle to describe uh, the, the certain uh, the level of goals uh, and after the principle uh, you can see from here is uh, uh, we are start to talking about the requirements uh, so this uh, goal refinement uh, is actually uh, is kind of the uh, business requirements breaking down uh, the practice. Uh, so from the goal to the principle, then go to the requirements. Uh, so uh, before you, so we go to here is uh, uh, I can share with you uh, some uh, the little bit of uh, the practice uh, uh, that I have uh, worked uh, uh, in the different project about how to breaking down the requirements. Uh, so let's uh, work on uh, this uh, first. So uh, first. On the archi, let's uh, duplicate uh, one thing, uh, one view, and uh, make this as our name. So now we have that. Uh, let's also uh, the change this to the today's name, uh, dates. So uh, use this uh, property. So now is uh, April 06. Now, in the live days, I want to just introduce uh, something. Is uh, I uh, let me just use uh, the requirements. Uh, so when we uh, breaking down the requirements, this uh, figure six uh, is was the uh, uh, the practice uh, from uh, Open Group uh, to show you how you can link uh, goal to principle to requirements. Uh, but uh, normally, it's in the generic uh, view is uh, when you have uh, the requirements. Normally, you're starting from the uh, strategic, uh, the objective. Then you have a way to talk with the stakeholder to uh, for the breaking down uh, the layer after layer. So uh, uh, we can define the uh, top layer, uh, the requirements. Uh, let, let's just for simple uh, cases, so we just use uh, the uh, one uh, the, uh, the type of the notation. So normally, so. Uh, we can use uh, the goal or uh, driver to for this, but when we're talking the different hierarchy of uh, requirements, we can starting from the strategic, uh, the objective uh, to talk first. Uh, and when we have uh, for the uh, the understanding is uh, uh, what's the next uh, layer uh, after strategic uh, objective is uh, normally is uh, uh, through understanding those objective we can start to list up the. We call these uh, business requirements, and after business requirements, then is uh, we may have uh, the next level for our architect is uh, we we should have uh, more uh, linking is uh, the some 
the mapping. Uh, here is we pick uh, is uh, stakeholders uh, requirements, uh, and then you can see that we already breaking down. So every layer is uh, you should have the more detailed uh, the knowledge. Uh, then from uh, the next part is uh, we're starting to have some understanding. Then we may start to talk about the solution requirements or transition requirements. Uh, so uh, why we put that in uh, the together is uh, uh, you may introduce new solution or you may change the existing solution. So either you have transformation or you have the transition. Uh, so they, uh, but we can talk in that in the similar uh, the layer. And after is so we understand the solution requirements is so we can uh, start to build this uh, uh, the our, uh, more understanding the blueprint. So uh, we can normally see at this layer is uh, we are talking about this uh, tech architecture technical requirements. So that is the way. So and the last so uh, possible here is uh, it is not. Uh, uh, suitable to use uh, requirements so we can then is, uh, uh, use a kind of the application components because now is uh, uh, we are talking about the tech uh, architectural solution proposal so maybe the we can uh, we should also use uh, the uh, business layer uh, but uh, let, let's just uh, uh, keep on this uh, uh, so from bottom to uh, up is uh, you are aggregate to more abstract level on the requirements. From top to down is uh, you are uh, doing the certain uh, the requirements uh, breaking down. So let's uh, call that is the requirements breaking down the practice. So uh, we we can put that aside is uh, uh, for your reference. So. If, if we put this, is uh, you you can consider that is uh, like a ladder. So uh, from, from top to down, from down to top. Uh, but whenever you talk about the requirements, uh, try to think about this uh, well uh, view to do the breaking down. Now let's do our uh, the uh, this uh, number six. So we see the reduction of cost as one goal. Uh, this one is uh, we already uh, have that. So. Uh, if you just want to uh, double check, is uh, you can use this uh, search. Uh, so reduction uh, of cost. So this uh, looks like it's uh, uh, it's not here. Uh, so uh, let's uh, double check. Is uh, we have the reduction of uh, the uh, here. We have the reduction of personal. We should have the reduction of costs. Uh, so let's see. So uh, what? Where is that? Yeah, reduction of costs. Oh, now it's a uh, good. So we found this. We have a type of error. So now that that's good. Uh, so it's also uh, uh, good. Is uh, if you keep uh, checking. So let's see. So these uh, three uh, we can reuse. And uh, when we drag here, is uh, we put that uh, on top. Is uh, you can see the relationship uh, is dragged here. Uh, but uh, normally, is uh, if you uh, want to have a duplicate uh, instance uh, here, you should, uh, if you want to control C and control V, you can see you, you can duplicate our element. Uh, but if you use a control C and paste the special, so now you are keep the same uh, the element not create a new. So that is uh, the useful uh, skill is so you see you when you create uh, another element that is a duplicate thing, uh, this element doesn't have any relation because it's different uh, instance. Uh, but please uh, ensure is uh, double check is uh, when you use uh, uh, the copy paste uh, the in your right click you, you can see you have a paste special which not create additional duplicate uh, instance. So let's uh, delete this uh, from model. And we don't need this in our view, but we know this uh, not a duplicate. Uh, and then we, we can see here uh, whether or not this, we have this uh, implement uh, improvement in data. Uh, the, 
uh, consistency. So we have that. So we drag here. So now we have the level one, uh, but we don't have these uh, uh, the principal uh, the parts. Uh, so uh, we have uh, here so record uh, the each of the data. So it's here. So last time is we already have this, and the common use of application. So it's also here. Uh, so that is the our principle. Uh, and in the last time, I, uh, we don't have this uh, uh, kind of the influence. So principle can also influence uh, to your goal. So uh, when you try uh, make this, uh, let's just add a class. So it's a positive uh, influence. Uh, and then this we uh, we should starting to have uh, the requirements, uh, which we don't uh, did that uh, until now. So oh, sorry. sorry, let's. Uh, so uh, we can do here, so requirements. Uh, I will put this uh, in the different folder uh, later on. So here, let's make our requirements folder. And we're starting to uh, build something. So new requirements. So CRM data should be maintained. Essentially. So when we read uh, by such kind of uh, wording, it uh, looks like it's, uh, we are starting to talk about the solution requirements already. So we are coming to uh, similar uh, the, this kind of uh, layer. Uh, so uh, the different approaches, they can uh, have some uh, commonality. Share. Office application for all products. So that means uh, the application reuse or sharing. Uh, so the key thing is uh, when you read is uh, we are introduce some more relations. So from the requirements to uh, your uh, the principle, uh, we are using the realization uh, still. Uh, so here is uh, let's uh, drive the realization. And uh, across those uh, the relations, uh, we have this uh, uh, the most stronger the influence for this uh, CRM data central uh, maintained. Uh, it uh, will give us uh, the common use of application, uh, very uh, good uh, influence. And then the requirements, uh, you, uh, you can refer to our uh, the reference here is uh, requirements can be further breaking down. So uh, the, then well, what's the breaking down relation we are using is aggregation. So that means uh, these are the sub requirements. Uh, so let's create this uh, quickly. So that is one thing. So the whole for policy uh, administration. Uh, and another one is support for financial transaction. And we drag these two here and we use this uh, aggregate. Normally, I aggregate you uh, drag from uh, parents to child. So then here. OK, uh, that's. Uh, uh, the good for our uh, version uh, the number six, uh, and I, I will leave this uh, sample uh, the requirements breakdown in this uh, diagram, and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, treat uh, uh, this as the cross uh, the uh, recommendation reference. Uh, from next view, you can start to see uh, uh, until six, we just uh, working on this uh, motivation view only one single view, a uh, single layer. Uh, but next is we can starting to see uh, the cross layers uh, modeling. Uh, then that's give us uh, more uh, the, uh, the interesting uh, the practice. So see you next time.